Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a quick tutorial on how to make a system where the player can shoot bullets, and these bullets will destroy cubes in the environments that are representing enemies. There will not be any Python in this video, and I'm just getting started. So to start off, let's go to layer 2 like this, and what I'm going to do, by, um, you can click down here to go to layer 2, and I'm going to do spacebar and then add a surface sphere, add surface sphere, and I'll hit um, Alt and C and convert the sphere to a mesh, like this. And what I'm going to do is drag this panel out and rename the sphere as bullet like this and I'm going to click on the materials tab and hit new and change the color of the bullets to let's say blue and then I'm going to select blender game right here and I'm going to give this bullets let's say dynamic physics like this and let's go from defaults to game logic and go from blender render to blender game and on our bullet we want to make it move forward so I'm going to add an always sensor click these first three dots and I'm going to add a motion actuator and this motion actuator will be 0 points, let's say 6 on the y-axis. So if we connect this to our always sensor, we should see our bullet's going to shoot forward like this. Alright, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is go back into layer 1 by clicking on this icon. And on our main cube, which I'm going to rename as player, what I'm going to do is do spacebar and then add an empty object. Add empty add an empty cube and drag this cube just in front of our um, of our player object and with our empty selected I'm going to hit shift and right click on our player and hit control and P to parent it on our empty object what I'm going to do is I'll actually rename the empty object I'll rename the empty object to spawn points like this and I'll add an always um, and what on our empty object what I'm going to do is add an actuator edit objects we're going to add a bullet into the game for a time of let's say 60 and I'll rename this actuator to fire and I'll minimize this and then I'm going to add an always sensor mouse I'm going to rename this mouse sensor to click with tap selected and I'm going to minimize this and let's connect that to our um, edit object actuator so if I hit P I should be able to click and fire bullets like this and they delete after about 60 seconds or whatever that um, 60 um, frames, sorry. Alright, now that we have this, we want to be able to control the rotation of the player. So I'm going to add an always sensor, keyboard. This key will be A, and this will make the player move left. And what I'm going to do is add a motion actuator, and I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis by negative 2. So if the A key is pressed, we should be able to move the player left. So I P to Oh, it rotates backwards. Sorry. Change the rotation right here to 2. My mistake. So if we, hit, if we hit A, we can rotate left. And now we want to rotate right. So I'll add a keyboard sensor again. This keyboard sensor will be right as the name. And I'll put the key as D. And I'll drag this over here. And I'll add a motion actuator. And then this one will be negative 2 on the positive Z axis or um, on the Z axis for rotation so we can rotate left and right and shoot like this alright now that we have this what we're going to do is I'm going to do spacebar and then add a plane because we want a floor inside of our game I'll do S and 20 and we're going to create some cubes that the player can destroy so what we're going to do is I'm going to do spacebar and then add a cube this cube object will have a red color so hit the materials tab and hit new and let's give this coloring red. Let's also give this cube character physics so that, it, so that it will respond to the bullet. And what we're going to do is if there's a collision that occurs with the property bullets, so if a collision occurs with the property bullets, what we're going to do is add an actuator, edit object, and end object. So it's essentially going to destroy the object if there's a collision that occurs. Alright, so now that we have that, what I'm going to do is go back into layer 2 because if we right click on our bullet object, it doesn't have the property bullets. So let's add a game property and on this property let's call it bullet. So now that, this, now that our bullet object has the property bullet, we should be able to destroy this cube right here. So if we hit play, we'll see that cube deletes. If we want the bullet to delete as well, let's add a property onto our um, cube, our enemy object and this property will be enemy and what we're going to do 
is go back into layer 2 and let's right click on our enemy, our bullet object and let's say if there's a collision that occurs with the property enemy like this we're just going to delete the object so add an edit object actuator add objects to end objects I'll scroll this back out and connect this to our initial sensor the collision sensor so we should see that both objects are going to delete like this and I'm going to right click on our cube object I'm going to rename this cube object as enemy and I'm going to hit shift and D to copy it a bunch of times so we should see if I hit P it'll just start doing this so every time it collides with the bomb um, the cube object it'll delete the cube and it will delete the bullet alright so this is how you make a simple um, player bullet system where the player can destroy enemies um, with no python in the BGE I hope you guys find this very useful